My name is Barry Conrad and I'm a singer, songwriter and actor. I grew up in Cape Town, South Africa and uh, I was born there. Moved to New Zealand when I was about 12, 13 and then from there I moved to Australia. My family left SA because mainly opportunities, so my family really wanted to give us a better shot at life and um, it wasn't that safe and ultimately, like even though we lived in a good area, long term, probably not the best choice to stay there so my parents shipped us over to New Zealand. Culture shock, smaller house, no friends. For a while I hated it, I didn't really like it, but then when I got, got my, found my feet a little bit, I got into my comic book art, which is a big passion of mine. And even though I loved my music, I wasn't quite confident in being a performer yet. So I sort of, that was like my plan B. But really what I wanted to do was what I'm doing today. I never thought I could do something with this seriously because I didn't quite believe in myself enough. But deep down, I knew that's what I wanted. I was performing with uh, our high school choir in South Oakland. Just before the second verse, the guy's like, wow. Oh, I can't do it, I can't do it. And this is on stage. Something in me rose up and I just owned that verse and I killed it and everyone was like, whoa, snap, this guy can sing. So from that point I found a bit of confidence and from there I started building on that. But what ultimately brought me to Australia was I was in a group called Jaira, singing, dancing, break dancing group and one of my boys, Vince Harder, who you guys know very well, you might know. And we moved all of it together. We ended up breaking up, but you know, we're all still tight. But basically that was our catalyst for moving. And it worked a lot in behind the scenes land. And yeah, I did that for many years and then I auditioned for X Factor. There's nothing to prepare you for that. You just kind of get thrown in the deep end and hope that you can swim. And a lot of people who knew me before, they're like, wow, like you're a lot more relaxed. You're a lot more confident. You're a lot more transparent. I was such a control freak before and, and really insecure. X Factor was the hardest and most rewarding thing I've ever done because second mom, Audrey Phillips, passed away from cancer. And to say goodbye to her, but I know beforehand she encouraged me saying, Baz, you gotta go for your dreams, you don't have any regrets. And she pushed me. Some of the biggest challenges I've faced in life, dealing with oppression and, and racism as well, coming from South Africa, not accepting being a victim, rising above that and, and taking ownership of your life. Dealing with rejection is one of the hardest things that you can have as a performer. Losing loved ones and being on the road so much, you can't always be present. I definitely believe I've achieved success, but there's so much more that I want. It all starts with a mindset, so I'm loving that. Technology has really helped me to do what I do because it just makes the world small. I'm able to meet with people in LA and New York just through Skype. I can connect with my fans and supporters through social media. It's completely changed what I do because I can actually record something, upload it online and send it to my supporters and fans and them contact me and I can directly thank them. A week in the life of Barry Conrad looks like having a purpose, always having somewhere to go. I could be performing, I could be traveling, I could be in meetings, I could be in photo shoots, I could be at events. Doing what I love to do, music and acting. It's never a dull moment, there's always something exciting happening and again it all starts with a mindset. Here we are at Hunter and Barrel about to smash some food with my mate Kat Oyas from the brand new show Here Come the Lips. Do that in a meeting with Lauren McKenna who's the lead actress from Hairspray. Remix of the B-side, care you with your open toe shoes. Never have I ever met someone like you. Uh, can't you see what you're doing to me? So for real to Black Street. Mary J to TLC cause you're crazy sexy cool What's up guys, so here I am with my mate Lauren McKenna from Hairspray as well and give my mate Tim who's the mastermind behind Hairspray and Brizzy a Skype Here we go Yay! Yes! I thought I'd hang with uh, my mates Will and Steve. I'm actually a foodie, as you guys know, but can't really cook. So uh, today they're gonna kind of show me a few things. But the flow so you get, get it between your fingers really going down. Lace them up, lace them up real good Fans all saggy like a boy from the hood And don't stop if the beat is rocking right As Marino gets you tight Cause I'm a pro on the microphone I got you in the zone I'm about to hit the gym at the PE department Get my blood pumping, get some iron pumping Let's go, come on Yeah, I'm ready Ben Seymour right here To take me through something What's up, bro? You think you wanna play? 
Now kick back while I roll this J I got the remedy that make you wanna get away This morning I thought I'd catch up with my vocal coach and friend Lara Ten Horn. I'm still part way through Violet and I'm starting hairs pretty soon so there's a lot going on. Okay, well first things first, how are you feeling? Tired. Like you know there's not a lot of sleep at the moment. Long hours. And I think I've got to do the scoop on it. Here today to help you guys sing better. Um, give you guys some tips. I audition for a singing show so if you're thinking of doing a singing show, here are my five top tips. So we just finished Scoopla TV, uh, giving some singing tips out to people wanting to audition for some singing shows, reality shows, or just performing. Okay guys, it's been a massive week. That is a wrap. It's been fun, it's been real. Time to party. See you guys soon.